From the campus of James McKee Elementary, this is BNN. Hi, I'm Isaac Soto. And I'm Abigail Williams. Our first story goes back a couple of weeks, but we felt that it was important enough to mention. That's right, Isaac. Monday, February 6th was our own Principal Freeman's birthday, and many of our students made her feel special with birthday wishes and cards. Kindergarten even did one better, when each student hand-carried a rose to tell her happy birthday. And we're not going to say how many roses she received, we'll just say it was a lot. And she deserved every one of them. We here at BNN and hope you had a very special day. On February 8th, the second grade classes put on a performance in the multi-purpose room to celebrate the red, white, and blue. Those in attendance were very impressed with the hard work that the students put in practicing to give an outstanding performance that evening. On February 10th, Student Council hosted a Valentine's Festival for those students in the primary grades. That's right, kinder through third graders were treated to a carnival-like atmosphere just for them. We didn't want them to feel left out because of the dance, so the student council decided to give them an opportunity to participate in an after-school activity all on their own. From the look of things, it appears everyone there had a great time. On Thursday, February 24th, James McKee will be hosting a movie night in the large multi-purpose room. This is the first movie night that we have had in several years due to the pandemic. This has been a very fun event in the past, and this one is shaping up to be just that. The movie Minions The Rise of Gru will be showing on the big screen. This looks to be a very fun event and will likely fill out quickly, so you should probably get there as early as you can. The doors open at 5 p.m. and the movie starts at 5.30 p.m. Cost is $8 per, eight dollars per person and includes a slice of pizza and a drink. Additional slices can be purchased for $1.00. Bring a blanket, pillow, or bean bag to sit on. All lawn chairs will be placed in the back behind those sitting on the floor. You can also buy popcorn for an additional fee, so bring some extra cash because no movie deserves to go without. You need to turn in your permission slip by today, so I hope you don't forget to fill it out and bring it in. Remember, all kids must be accompanied by an adult, so don't forget your parents. Also, on the 24th, the 5th and 6th grade classes will be going to the IMAX Theater in Sacramento to watch two educational movies regarding important events in history. That's right, Abby. And with more on the story, here's Jesse Carpenter and me. Hi, my name is Jesse. And I'm Isaac. On February 24, 2023, 5th and 6th graders are going to the IMAX Theater. We return at 1 p.m. and have school lunch. We are going to be learning two important periods in history. But we, are all, but we are also going to be listening about the tradition of the process of mummification of pharaohs of Egypt and Lewis and Clark Great Journey West. Don't forget about the price. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The price is $20 for students and for chaperones. It's $13. For Baron News Network, I'm Jesse. And I'm Isaac. Back to, to you. you. Positive pickers. What's that? I'm not completely sure, but I hope it's not what, I, what just came to my mind. So let's find out what this is. Here's Bruce Estomo with the story. Hello, I'm Bruce Aninga Stomo, here to spread awareness about the in-school organization, Positive Pickers. Positive Pickers was invented by our very own, Kenny Garibaldi. We got to spoke to him about what motivated him to start Positive Pickers. The reason I invented Positive Pickle is I was at an assembly saying, talking about this and there was a banana peel on the ground right next to me. So I decided, hey, I'm going to give an example. So I picked it up and put it in the trash. So there are 18 people, including me. So after school, there, it, we work for at least 30 minutes a day and it's going to start on Thursday, I mean Wednesdays and Fridays, but soon it'll move on to Mondays, Tuesdays, <clears throat> Wednesdays, and then Fridays, so that Thursdays you can get a tiny bit of a break. And 
So I hope that people at our school join because we really need the help. For Bear News Network, I'm Bruce Stomo. Back to you. Well, that's cool. I appreciate what they're doing for the school. If you don't know, the 21st is Dictionary Handout Day. That's right, Abby. At 9 a.m., the Rotary Club will be handing out dictionaries to all the third graders to use, all the way up to high school. The Rotary Club has been in Elk Grove for 61 years. Rotary International was founded in 1905 and is still doing programs throughout the communities that they serve in. In Elk Grove, they, ha they help with the Strauss Festival and Garden Project. The purpose is to change lives. They call themselves a community social organization that provides funding for the community they live in. They do this every year and they specifically choose third graders because they think you really read on your own in the year, so... Mm. I have mine, I just don't use it. It's used to advance education at schools. I hope the third graders use it more than some people. Me too. On the lighter tone, it's time for McKee at the Movies. Hi, I'm Abby DiPello. And I'm Carson DiPello. We are sitting in for Isaac and Yelaney. Oh, today we are going to be reviewing the new movie Strange World. This movie is rated PG, so all families can watch this movie together. It, it just came out on November 23rd, 2022, so you can find this movie on Disney+. Plus. I like this movie because it's funny and it's a nice movie to watch with your family. The movie is very fascinating. There's some creepy parts involved with this movie, though. So I'm going to have to rate this 4.2 out of 5. And I like this movie because it's a funny and a good family movie. It tells about how a kid doesn't want to go with his dad, but he ends up discovering something new and makes a living off of it. But the plant starts dying, and he has to figure out why. Watch the rest of the movie to figure out what happens. I dislike this movie because it has some weird, creepy parts. But that's it. I give this movie a 4 out of 5 today. So we're going to wrap this up. For McKee at the Movies, I'm Carson DePello. And I'm Abby DePello. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you at, at the movies. movies. I'm not sure I want to see that one. Well, certainly, a lot has been happening on our campus. I'm Isaac Soto. And I'm Evgen Williams. And, and this, this has been, been BNN. BNN.